Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trail RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we've got a brand new 2023 Cimarron North Star Tours bumper pull behind me. These are great little trailers. Maybe you just need something to go to a trailhead, a little run around trailer, whether it's going to the vet, um, a little local show, something like that, or you need to maybe even downsize from a bigger trailer into something kind of small. Um, these are great setups here. These Cimarrons are all aluminum construction. You have an eight year hardware, uh, excuse me, eight year structure warranty, three year hardware, one year no questions asked on the wheels and tires. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Before we get into this one here, we'll go ahead and take a look at the drawing because I'll show you some specs on this. With it being a two horse, we're not massively big by any means. We are standard width, which is 610 wide on this trailer, no wheel wells on the inside, 71 tall, that's standard height on a Cimarron, and you're 15 3 on the box itself. This trailer weighs 2,700 pounds empty, so can very easily be towed with a half ton pickup, an SUV. Um, obviously, you need to go ahead and take a look at your towing capacity on your tow vehicle. Make sure you're within that range. Um, we have two 3,500 pound axles, so our GVWR is gonna be about seven. So again, work within those parameters. It does have electric brakes, so you will need an integrated brake controller or an aftermarket brake controller setup to actually operate these brakes on this trailer. So we'll walk you through a couple things that we do to these, a couple add-ons. If you watch our videos, Cimarron's, we all, I like to say they're like a fingerprint. Every one of them is unique, everyone's a little bit different from how we option actually the trailer itself. On this one here, you got a, just a manual crank jack. By Bulldog, you have a two and five sixteenths ball. You don't see as many two inch balls in today's market on new trailers. You see them on some older ones. Pretty much everyone's going with the two and five sixteenths. So that's how this one's equipped here. You got the diamond plate around the lower portion to protect you for some road blast and rocks, those type of items from, you know, throwing from the actual tow vehicle itself. And then from there, we've got a front tack room on this one. So this is a really cool setup very popular just based on the options itself. The very first thing I want you to notice is the door. That is a nice big wide door and, it, and there's a reason for that but as you can see we have the saddle rack in. You can still get in and out of this tack room very easily. It's not like you're having to swing the saddle rack out just to get in um, or you have no room to even work on there. But these 42 inch wide doors the main reason is for this swing out saddle rack. It's on a gas shock, so as you see, I let it go and it just gradually works out nice and slow. Two saddle rack pads, two blanket pole bars up top. These can all be adjusted. So if you wanna adjust the height on them, where they're located, if you wanna change the sequence of them, I've seen you know some people actually go and put their blanket poles right underneath their saddle racks. Uh, so you can do a lot of different variations as far as that's concerned there. But now everything's right here for you to just grab and get tacked up. And as you can see with that nice big door, I can still get in and out. Again, there's some manufacturers when this is out, I can't get into this tack room. It's gotta be swung in. This is a lot simpler, a lot easier getting in and out. The other reason, if you notice if this door was a lot smaller, then we're gonna have to start worrying about this door frame and our saddles actually dragging on that door frame going in and out of there. So Cimarron will do that 42 inch wide door on these swing out saddle rack options. We also like to go in and put this step because believe me, it makes a world of difference. Granted, this has a swing out, but hey, what if you're hauling other items in and out of this tack room? As you can see from where I'm standing in the bottom of this door frame, that is a big step. So by doing these fold up steps on there, it makes getting in and out of these tack rooms so much easier, such an easier uh, transition going in and out. Maybe you've got some younger kids that are showing that you're wanting to take them to some events, again, making it easier for them getting in and out. All right, here in the tack room, we've got a spare tire located behind me. You're also getting an aluminum wheel there. So it's not like you're getting four aluminum on the ground and then a steel here. On the partition wall, you'll see a nice row of bridle hooks. You can always add more if you want to. But this one here, these are aluminum powder coat. This is a design that Cimarron did themselves so in my opinion, these are a lot taller, a lot deeper off the wall uh, from year, you know, the just different versions of bridle hooks in years past. 
Um, so they do these in-house, but again, these are aluminum powder coats, so nice and strong, and then the carpet behind that area. So we don't have that tack swaying against that aluminum uh, sheeted skin, you know, scuffing up actual tack itself, um, but also deadening a lot of the noise. Back in this corner, these little corners always wasted space. So these corner water tanks, high country plastics has designed these so they fit really well. Again, let's utilize some space. Let's carry some water on board. It's gravity feed. You fill from the top, empty from the bottom. You got a hose down there. It's great to have a ball valve so you can actually fill your buckets outside. Then you're not having to move them in and out. But this is fantastic. So again, if you're going to a show, going to a trailhead, just traffic in general, being able to carry some water on board with you is a nice little feature there. You do have an LED light in this tack room as well. Brush tray on the door. There's always items that can be added after the fact. Maybe you want a door organizer, that could be added. Um, rear ramps, we'll talk about that. But there's items that we can add to these trailers after the fact through our parts and service department. So just because you see a trailer and go, oh, that is 99% what I want, it just doesn't have that rear ramp. We can add that here. So we can help you out with that, not having to go through a custom build option. Obviously we can if you want to get really creative and really specific on how you want to set a trailer up. Now, white sheeting is standard on these trailers. So anytime we go to a different color, there is an upcharge. This is the silver metallic. This and I would say charcoal metallic are our two most popular color changes that we've done in today's market. Uh, I think the colors really work with a lot of the vehicles that are out there and, and just different concepts that the manufacturers on the, on the vehicle side are doing. Uh, but I like the silver metallic. It's a really good look to it. Um, years past, they used to do a silver that after time, it almost get a chalky kind of look, but they've changed to this. This has those metallic flakes when you kind of get to the side of it. These are holding up extremely well, so people are very happy with this color here. Bus windows on this one, with it being a two horse, you can see the two bus windows, big bus windows. Cimarron really wants to maximize the size of this as, as much as possible, because we want as much airflow, keeping horses nice and comfortable. Bus windows, you only get half of them to open because of the slider. So by getting the bigger windows, we get more airflow in the trailer itself. You see the 16 inch awning light up top, light coverage all the way around. So there's lights on each side, lights at the back. Obviously there's one in the tack and I'll show you in the stall area, you have lights there as well. Couple tie rings out here, bolt on fender that Cimarron does. It's not a weld on, so it's a lot easier. If we do have an issue where we have to change something out, it saves you a lot of time, a lot of money from the labor standpoint of what you're having to do to the actual replacing it versus a weld on. I mentioned two 3,500 pound axles. These are rubber torsion by Dexter electric brakes. These are 15 inch wheels. Again, you got the aluminum. These are nitrogen filled and balanced as well. So if you have a slow leak or something like that, something needs to be addressed, you can put air to it. There's a misconception. A lot of people say you can't put air to those. That is not correct. You totally can. Uh, you're just not getting the benefits of the nitrogen, which doesn't allow PSI levels to fluctuate as drastically as air. So you can get that addressed. A lot of tire shops are doing nitrogen fill, so you can get back to nitrogen once you get that addressed. All right, at the back here, we have a 60-40 setup on the rear doors. So the bigger door on the right, smaller door on the left. As we go to our wider trailers, or seven, six, eight foot wide, this will change to 50-50 doors. But in this instance here, we do a 60-40, so the right hand's a little bit bigger if you just want to load in, in and out of that door, uh, keeping the left hand door shut. Like I mentioned, you could add a rear ramp to this trailer. Um, it might take us, you know, about four to six weeks right now, build time to color match. We usually keep the white ramps on hand, uh, but in silver, you just need a little bit more time. Butt strap across this opening. Because this is one large opening here, no rear tack, um, we kind of prefer these. And the reason why is if something happens and a horse, you know, bumps this, it's just a strap that can just fall to the ground rather than a big piece of uh, aluminum or a bar coming at you. But that can get out of the way. You could add a, a folding rear tack to this setup if you wanted. Uh, we can get the hardware and install it. 
But these are really nice because this is a real big inviting stall. This is fantastic. You get a little bit more room in this back stall here. Maybe throw a mare and a foal in here. Maybe you got a companion, a little pony, a little donkey that can fit in this back corner. Um, but you can also, you know, open up this divider and then have a little bit larger stall itself. Solid divider. Everything has a radius. So when you put your hand on this, everything is smooth, nothing protruding out. Horse safety is first and foremost when it comes to the Cimarron's. I give them a lot of credit for keeping that in mind. They have these nice big springs. So we're, this trailer is actually tipped towards passenger side right now, but this big spring is wanting to pull this divider towards this driver's side of the trailer. So now we're not having to hold the divider open or closed, trying to get it in and out. So safer for you and safer for the horses. You've got your kick mats all the way around. There is D-rings already in place in this front stall and the back side of this divider. So if you want to add uh, feed bags, we can do that. Again, nothing protruding out. As you can see on the paddle latch here, it's recessed into the wall itself. They even round the corners of that. This is a heavy UHMW plastic paddle latch. So when that divider shuts, we don't have that metal to metal contact creating a lot of noise within the trailer itself. You have the industry's best floor on the market. It's a 12 inch extruded piece of aluminum that runs across with four inch centers. So they all hook together uh, like tongue and groove, high and low. And what it does is it starts getting pieced together. It gets stronger and stronger and stronger. But the four inch centers is what's really important because imagine the size of your horse, wherever they're standing on this floor, they are standing on a support beam. And why that's important is when you get in other manufacturers, they'll space their centers out and then horses can start getting those pits or waves within your floor that can create um, a, a place for urine to collect. It's going to be, you know, it's going to eat away at the aluminum itself, corrode that aluminum. Every aluminum floor out there, every trailer should have these mats pulled out and cleaned at least once a year. Just depends on how much you're actually using it. But if you care for these trailers, they'll last you forever. But again, the best floor on the market. The other thing is you're getting an insulated roof. That is standard on every single Cimarron. Doesn't matter what model it is, it's the same roof. Very strong. I can walk on this roof. It will not dent it. I don't have to find exactly where a roof bow is to stand. It's a half inch thick reinforced honeycomb design. And it can withstand 150 pounds per square foot. The other thing is as an R3 thermal value, so it keeps the stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. So keeping horses nice and comfortable and cool, it makes a massive difference. And when you come in here in the summertime, when we're 95 degrees on this asphalt, 100 degrees all day long, we'll take you to one manufacturer with aluminum roof, then take you to Cimarron, and you will drastically feel the difference in the temperature of that trailer and within that stall area. One of the other things that Cimarron does is puts these big, massive drop windows. So again, a lot of airflow. What we're doing is the big bus windows on the tail side. We have that insulated roof. We have these drop windows. So again, we can create a lot of airflow, keeping the horses nice and comfortable. Think about it on a real hot day, no air movement, it's miserable. A little breeze kicks up and you feel a little bit better about life because that breeze does help. So if we can keep that airflow, to the horses, they'll be a lot more comfortable. You've got the jail bars. You just lift up, there's a little sweet spot that this sets into on the track. But as you can see, from the window to the edge, that's all framework. So they are extremely heavy duty. They're gonna hold up over time. We're gonna use these windows and doors every time we use this trailer more than likely. So we want them to withstand just our general usage. Welded hinges with grease certs as well, so easier to maintain. There's a brass rod in the middle, and then it has a, a groove cut into it. So when you start putting grease to either end and start opening and close, it's wanting to force that grease throughout the entire hinge itself. And there's a good look at that 16 inch awning light on this driver's side as well. Everything's on an individual switch, so you can do either side 
the rear, the stall lights, any of them on an individual switch itself. So this trailer is available today. We've got some other ones similar to it. We've got others on order, different colors, a few different options. We can take a look at any of those, but give us a call. I'm gonna give you this stock number for reference. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pole. Five in, 221-425. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. We do take trade-ins, financing's available, and delivery is an option as well. So give us a call. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.